have to stop taking dating and relationship advice from this person in particular. And we all have one of these. It's called your mom. And see, this is no shot at moms. This is no disrespect to mom, even though when I checked my own mom and I told her, don't give me dating advice. I don't need it from you. She got mad, of course, which that's expected. She wasn't happy about it. And it's not that my mom is not a wise person. It's not that my mom does not have wisdom. No mother intimately deals with women as a man. So because it's impossible for a woman to intimately deal with other women as a man, there is a certain perspective that they will never have. Never. They will never have the correct perspective in order to give you the correct advice. It's impossible for them. They don't interact with women as a man. They're a woman. It's impossible for them to give you the correct perspective. They've never done it before. They've never done it. So a person cannot give you advice on something that they've never done. They can't do it. They can try and tell you what they think the right, the right answers may be. They can try. They can give it the college try. They can tell you whatever they think may help, which generally when moms give advice, in relation to dating, marriage, whatever. When women give advice to their sons, it is typically centered around them being a nice guy. That's generally what all the advice will be. It'll be generally about you being nice and it will not be on anything, any touchy subjects that she would feel uncomfortable talking to you about. Moms will never go into attraction on a sexual level with their sons. That's something that the average mom doesn't want to do with her son. Go into detail on that. And the average son doesn't want to hear that from his mom. So sexual attraction is something that's not even going to be brought up nine times out of 10. Really, 99 times out of 100. There is that extraordinarily rare example where a woman has no shame at all but when she tells you that, if you have the type of mom that will really tell you the truth about that sort of thing and really has insight on what sexually attracted her to men, and she tells her son this, you may look at your mom different. And see, most women want to maintain a positive image of themselves in the minds of all the men that they know. You see, whether they're a good woman or not, that doesn't even matter when it comes to this sort of thing. They all want to have a good image in the eyes of the men that they know. Regardless of their behavior, they still want to have a positive image. So most women don't want their sons to really know certain things. Truth be told, if you really want good advice on how you should interact with women, as a man, you're going to have to humble yourself. You're going to have to humble yourself. If you actually want good advice, you're going to have to humble yourself and ask men that you know that don't have the problems that you have. And if you say, every man got the same problems with women. No. No. Maybe everybody in your circle has problems with women or certain problems with women, but every man does not have the same problems with women. That's just not true. So you need to seek out advice from men that don't have the troubles that you have. And I would always encourage men to seek out the advice of generally older men. You see, I'm 30 myself because some people are under the misconception, oh, women are different today, women are different today. You shouldn't listen to people that are 
older than you, they're from a different generation. There's no change in what has attracted women to a man. It has never changed, never. What women find desirable in a man has always been the same, always. That's always been consistent. That part has never changed. What excites a woman, what arouses a woman has been constant all throughout history. It has never changed. That part of it has never changed. The expectations that may have been altered and yes, um, that part is not exactly the same as it's always been throughout history, but certain parts about women are always the case. Female nature, it has not changed by any significant amount. The core of it, the primal aspects of it, of what women are attracted to in a man, it's still the same. The only thing that's changed is a lot of men are under a delusion. That's what's new. The new part is that most men don't really have a, a real understanding of women because the society does not promote a real understanding of women. You're gonna have to figure that out through trial and error on your own or by seeking the advice of people that don't seem to have the issues that you have. That's the only option if you actually want to do better with women. There's no reason why a man shouldn't want to do better with women unless you're going to be um, someone that's gonna go into a monastery and that's what you're gonna do, that's the sort of life you're living, go live that life. But if you're not gonna do that, you should want to be better with women. A lot of men also make the fatal mistake of assuming because their mom is a woman and you desire to do better with a woman, oh, she's a woman, let me ask her. And that is the fatal mistake that a lot of men make. Because any advice she gives you, she doesn't really know. She doesn't know. My mom included, she doesn't know. She's gonna tell you what she thinks. But one thing that you will notice is what she thinks is not what any man that has, that has actually, that actually does well with women and doesn't have problems with women. None of these men will say the same thing that she's saying. None of these men. And I mean, there's certain problems that you're gonna have just dealing with people. So there's no such thing as a perfect scenario with people. So when you're dealing with women, you're gonna have issues that come up, but you being treated poorly, you not being able to attract women that you find attractive, that this should not be happening to so many men. And it's happening to so many men because so many men have a fantasy perspective when it comes to women. And a lot of men also embrace that nice guy thing, which mothers all promote you to be a nice guy. And you need to calibrate yourself to not be a weak man. Because the problem is when a lot of guys think they're being a nice guy, they're actually being a man that's just very, very weak all the time. And you're interacting with the woman in a very, very weak way all the time. And when you're doing this, it's very unattractive to women on an instinctual level. Because women on an instinctual level seek a protector. They seek a man of strength. They seek something strong. So when a man is being weak all the time, which he thinks he's being nice, but he's in reality being weak, the woman doesn't like him. Well, she may like him as a friend, but she's not attracted to him. That sort of thing is not attractive. And this is the harsh truth that a lot of men in the Western world, they have not yet accepted. Or when they find out this truth, they're angry and they're upset about it and they're kind of stuck in a phase here on out. But that's just the truth of it. And every man should want to improve his dealings with women intimately if you're a heterosexual man you should want to improve how you do with women 
it's odd for a man, especially a younger man, to not want to improve his dealings with women. That is very odd. So you need to admit that you made a mistake when you first listened to your mom when it, when it came to her giving you dating and relationship advice. You should seek that information from a man, but not only a man, a man with successful experiences. You should never seek advice from a man that has all negative experiences. And this goes beyond women. Why would you take advice from a man that has nothing but negative experiences when it comes to anything in life? Why would you do that? If a person always has issues with a certain subject in school, he always gets a D or an F in any math related subject. Why would you take advice from that guy on, on calculus? Why would you take trigonometry advice from this guy? You see, and what's true about women is true about all aspects of life. You need to stop taking advice from people that are unsuccessful. That's where the issue is. Or people that are just not knowledgeable.